We're going to go ahead and install Norton Utilities. Let's see how well this works. Continue. Continue. I'm not even going to read any of this stuff. And it wants my name. So, Tom. Enter. Company. Uh, whatever. Okay. Let's do a full install. And into that directory. That sounds good. And it's copying all the files. Now, the funny thing is um, I only have one floppy drive, or one floppy disk. Only one, like in the entire house. And, well, because it's not like many people have these anymore. And it's got some bad sectors. So I can't write images to it. Thankfully, the bad sectors are at the end of the drive. So I can copy, you know, about a megabyte to it at a time. And, well, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But it does work. Thankfully, most DOS programs are really dumb with the setup files, and they just look for the next file, and if they run out, they just ask for the next disk. Well, consequently, you can take and you can copy all the files from the setup program into a single directory on the hard drive, and then run the setup program from that folder in the hard drive, and it just runs and it installs really fast, and it works great. Um, I've done this with most DOS programs I've installed, and it's just the way they happen to work. Oh, and if you look up, you can see a password. That's somebody's password. I don't know whose. Dial-up. Oh, and the other fun thing, this thing came with a modem. Uh, 9600 baud modem. And I found this in my collection. This here is an Etherfast 10100 integrated PC card which means Ethernet. And, um, well, this isn't going to take advantage of 100 megabit networking at all because it's a 33 megahertz machine, I think. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. Hey, it's searching for previous versions of something. And now it's got an error. Oh, poo. Let's push continue. Ah. It just worked anyway. I probably won't use that file anyway. All I really want to do is defragment the hard drive again. Configuring the system. Now the really funny thing is my phone is so much more high resolution than this laptop is. This laptop runs at 640 by 480 at, I think, 8 shades of gray. And, um, well, the shades of gray are not even the greatest. Yes, we're going to go ahead and make the changes. And now it wants me to reboot the computer to activate it. Okay. Configuring your system, please wait. Loading rescue script. Um, you know, we're just going to cancel that because, you know, I can always do that myself. And it's just DOS. It's not a very complicated thing. So we're going to reboot. Now watch this. This is really cool. See how that slides down from the top? That's just weird. Let's do it again. No, nope, it didn't do it that time. It's just weird. And it's just how the graphics drivers work on this. Starting MS-DOS. Oh, this is an amazing experience. I'm enjoying this immensely. Oh, all sorts of stuff. Analyzing partition. Analyzing. And it's doing stuff. Analyzing the boot structure, directory structure, file structure, loss clusters. Analyzing drive C. Reading the fat info. Stuff I can't read because it's going way too fast. There's a lot of directories on here. This laptop was a gift from a friend of mine. And uh, it was found in a closet in some office. And, you know, it's been there for a very, very long time, and it's not been used, and there's no personal information on it, thankfully. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what's on here. Okay, let's dir slash w. Now, that's not very helpful. Yeah, let's do star dot exe slash w. And this will tell me everything that's in here. 
So I can do a smart scan, disk tool. Ooh, let's do sysinfo. That sounds fun. And I wish I had a tripod for this thing. Apparently this is a 40, a Cyrex. It's not even an Intel. It's a Cyrex 46, 33 megahertz with four megs of RAM. That is crazy. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, good. It's got at least 256 kilobytes of video memory. Let's see what's next. Um, nothing happened. Let's try it again. Ooh, it's got a mouse driver loaded, a floppy drive, and so on and so forth. O oh, divide by zero. I don't know if I like that. That tends to end the world. Hard disk, type 37. I don't know what that really means. The CMOS battery on this laptop is dead. If it loses power, I have to reconfigure the hard drive again in the BIOS manually every time. But, you know, I'm only going to play with this once in a while when I feel like defragging. So it's not a very big deal. It's got a 120 megabyte hard drive. That's pretty cool. More information. And it's testing the XMS, which apparently came out as good. I like that. So what we're gonna do, let's see how fast it is. Let's benchmark the CPU speed. This computer is not as fast as an Intel 46 DX33, but it is faster than an Intel 386 DX33. That's promising. Okay, let's go ahead and benchmark again. And let's go ahead and do a hard drive speed. And this is probably gonna take a short amount of time to run. Let's see what happens. Disk speed benchmark. Oh. Well, it's not as slow as it could be, but it's also not very fast. Oh well. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. And let's go ahead and run the Norton Disk Doctor. I haven't run this program in ages. Oh, you know what? That's going to take forever. I don't really want to do that. Let's find something else that'll be fun. Is that a command? No, that's not a command. Speed Disk. And does anyone know what speed disk? Oh. Is that right? Nope. See, I can't even read. Ah, speed disk. Now, the problem is, I'm actually reading this off of my phone that I'm using to record. I'm not even, not even looking at the real screen. Oh, let's defragment. Oh, and I did configure double space because damn. You know, 120 megabytes just isn't very much disk space. It's just really not. Analyzing disk information. Checking, checking, checking. And because I did a defrag recently with the Microsoft defragger, it's actually not that fragmented. So I'm not going to defrag right now. I'll defrag later. It's still reading. Let's go and file. Oh, no, no, no. I pushed the wrong button again. I am not used to using a keyboard like this because that is crazy. And look at this here. Isn't that the cutest little thing? Unfortunately, the right button really doesn't work. I might take it apart and fix it later. The left button does work, but you have to really push on it. Probably just got a dirty contact. Oh, I guess I started it defragging. Well, that was unintended. Not unwanted, because I was going to do that. And, you know, I was going to sit and watch and enjoy it. But I guess I can sit and watch and enjoy it when I watch the YouTube video later. And let's just let it go. Defrag, defrag, defrag. This is way different from the uh, DOS defragmentation program. Writing directories. Now, if you note, there are some unmovable files at the end of the disk. Now, the DOS defrag, or the Microsoft defrag, is reporting I had unmovable files in the middle of the disk, and I don't know why. Okay, let's go. 
pass one writing directories, writing directories. So anyway, I've got an interest in old DOS machines, old Mac machines. I've got a collection of both, and they're just a lot of fun. This is the first working DOS laptop I've had in a while. The big problem is, you know, they just eventually fail, and there's nothing to really do about it because the parts wear out, they get old, and mostly the hard drives fail. Somewhere in my collection, I have an IBM ThinkPad Butterfly, which was one of the most impressive laptops ever. Because when you take the keyboard, or the screen, and lift it up, the keyboard unfolds to give you a full-sized keyboard. And it does that by sliding. So this part of the keyboard slides up and like this, and this part of the keyboard slides down and like this. And it was just really amazing. And I always wanted one when I was a kid, but you know, they were like, you know, $5,000 or whatever they cost back then. And I was a kid and that was more than I could get from mowing lawns and, you know, babysitting and other jobs that I did. This is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the video here and enjoy the defragmentation process in my own peace.